Okay, let's move on to Unit 2, Lesson 6. I just want to show you really quickly how to navigate between lessons. I'm going to click this More button up here and then scroll through it. And we're going to Lesson 6 today, so let me click that. Start at number 1. Overview. This lesson introduces ordered and unordered lists and the associated UL, OL, and li HTML tags. The class practices using the tags then goes back to the personal web page project to add a new HTML page that includes the new tags. Here's our new code. You'll see what a list is in a second and how it looks on a page. Okay, lists. You can also use HTML to make different types of lists on your web page. This recipe includes two different types of lists one ordered with numbers and one unordered with bullets. Do this. Use the inspector tool to see the code that is making the two different kinds of lists. Okay, we have ordered and unordered lists. So let's turn on the inspector tool. Let's scroll through because I don't see lists right now. Ah, okay, here's the bulleted, so that's unordered. Okay, and let's see what code is making that. Okay, so if you look here, there's a UL tag, okay, and a closing UL tag. That's the unordered list. So U stands for unordered. And then we have some LI tags, okay. Use the inspector tool. Make sure you and your partner agree on what the different tags do. Oh, we didn't find the ordered list, so let's scroll through that. That has numbers. Okay, here's the order list. Whoops. What's going on with my inspector tool? Okay, here's the ordered list. And as you can see, it is in an OL tag. O stands for ordered list. That creates numbers. And where's the closing OL tag? There's the opening one. Okay, there's the closing OL tag right here. And they use LI and closing LI tags. Okay, so fix the code so that the second item in each list displays correctly. So this confuses a lot of people. And what they're referring to is, okay, here's our unordered list. The second item is not displaying correctly. It doesn't have a bullet. Okay, one cup of sugar. So let's go up there. Let's turn the inspector tool on so we know where to go. Okay, right here. Okay, so each each line has an opening and closing LI tag around it, but this one doesn't, and that's the problem. So let's fix that. Okay, so let's see if that added a bullet. Yes, it did. So there was no bullet here before, and now there is. Now let's scroll down, and in these directions, sure, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but 2 is supposed to be right here, and instead it's down here. This is a different step. Coat a 13 by 9 by 2 inch pan with shortening. That's the second step, but it's not registering. So let's find that in the code. Okay, it's showing us the code right here. We want to put an opening LI tag here and a closing LI tag here. I'm going to turn the inspector tool off. It's driving me crazy. Okay. Okay, right here. Opening LI tag. Closing LI tag. All right, and let's scroll down and see if that worked. Yep, look at that. And it already changed the two to three down here and then the following numbers it increased as well. So those are some useful tools. This is a good introduction to lists. That is the end of this level, so let's move on to three. Click finish. Ordered lists. This page should include an ordered list, but it's missing the list tags. Do this. Use the OL and LI tags to structure this content into an ordered list that looks like the one below. Hint, there will be no numbers in your code. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, when you code, when you put the code in here, we're not using numbers, of course, because we're using the li tags and the ol tags, which automatically assign it a number when you do it correctly. So let's figure this out. Okay, it should look like that. Oh, they are cute. Okay, so we need an opening. This is the list. We need an opening ol tag up here and a closing ol tag down here. Let's do that first. There's my opening ol tag. There's my closing ol tag. Okay, so it's in a it's in a list, but the numbers aren't showing up yet like we want it to. Why? Because we still need the opening and closing li tags next to each item in the list. So I don't want to do this five times. So let's copy copy the opening tag. Right click it, copy, and then right click over here, paste. Okay. This will save you a lot of time. Did I do that right? Paste. Okay. All right, but the numbers still aren't showing up. Why? Because we need a closing li tag. And again, I want to save myself time, so I'm going to do make one closing li tag. Oh, wow. That made the entire list. However, we want to do a closing li tag on the end of each item because that might mess up the code if we we're doing a larger project so let's be let's be proper and do this okay so now our list looks like this and we're done this exercise let's move on to four okay we just did an ordered list now we're doing an unordered list this page should have an unordered list, but it's missing the list tag. So it sounds like we're about to do the same thing we just did. Do this. Use the UL and LI tags to structure the content into an unordered list like the picture below. Okay, so this is the picture. They want this page to look like this. Okay, we're going to do the same thing we just did. An opening UL tag this time because we want bullets at the beginning of the list or at the top and then beneath a closing ul tag okay but again it's not becoming a list yet because we still need to use the li tags so let's do that I'll put li and i'm going to hit control c to copy it control v to paste control v to paste then i'm going to make A closing tag and I'm gonna control C to copy control V to paste control V to paste and look at that very quickly I did that quickly so if you need to rewind it go back watch it again please do but we're gonna move on to number five because there are no more directions here okay list quick check okay you guys can do this on your own Hopefully I didn't just show the answer. Let's look at six. Okay, so this is a little bit of a review. I want you to quickly read over this, okay? Let's look at seven. Okay, so in last lesson, in lesson four, we created our own website. This is just some information to help you build on that. So read through this. Let's click continue, move on to eight. Create a new page for your website. Here's your project from before. So remember I said something about chess. I like to play chess. You'll be adding another page. Your new page can be a top 10 list, a recipe, or anything you like. Do this. Add a new HTML file by clicking Add HTML. Well, this isn't a button, so let's find that elsewhere on the page. Okay, it's right here. So add a new HTML file by clicking Add HTML. Okay, so that created a page over here. It's a new code. 
and if you didn't see it created this page called new1.html the home page is index.html okay let's read the rest of the directions the new file will appear in the files list okay this is the files list on the left side of the workspace rename the file either by right clicking it and choosing rename or by clicking on it when it's already highlighted so let's right click it choose rename and i'm going to say uh top 10. okay make sure the name is unique descriptive and ends in html it does it does all that so let's move on to this direction use html to fill out your new page it should include a list and a heading okay so where are we going to put this information in the body tags so i'm going to put a heading because that's what i asked for and i'm going to say top 10 in the heading and i guess i'll just make a list of the best foods let's uh and you know what this is a very useful idea that i want you to think about i'm going to go back to the previous levels and copy and paste so i don't have to create new code all over again so we're going to take an, uh, uh, I don't want an unordered list for a top 10. I want an ordered list. So let's go to level three. And I'm going to steal this code. Copy. I'm going into top 10. And I'm going to paste it here. So now I don't need... I don't need to create a bunch of new code. I am uh, top 10 would look funny if there was only five things on the list. So I'm going to have to make five more items, but you don't have to recode everything each time you do something. Okay. So look, I have 10 things. Perfect. Now let's make it real top 10 foods. We'll say, and I'm going to put some foods in here. Okay mangoes peas lentils rice okay so just go through this make a new page make a list with a heading and you have done this lesson